Hi there, Christian here. April 23rd, 2015, the 3,500 gallon holding pond. I know I said I'd be back in a week, however, uh, by the color that you can see below the surface there, deeper, a lot more of, uh, the pond has cleared up by more than 20% here. So kind of going against the grain of my wanting to keep this water green, but uh, I did check my side liners. I can't show you any video of that, uh, but the carpet algae does have a really terrific base. So I think what we're gonna do here at this point, being uh, we did a second dose of new algae only three days ago and it's already clearing the water, uh, we'll just roll with that. I don't think my efforts of trying to keep it uh, green are uh, strong enough to go against the grain of new algae here. Uh, you can see that there's good foaming action continuing. Uh, again, nothing to be afraid of. It's quite normal uh, when the plankton algae begin to die. In fact, let me show you the buildup over here in the corner by the heavier flow returns to the pond here. That's a good amount of foam. And uh, rather than let that fall back in, I'm gonna take my fine skimming net. Again, you can get these from Laguna. Laguna makes them. I'm gonna go and simply grab this stuff. And what I'll do is I'll just scoop it out and rinse it with the hose in between scoops. Return, scoop it until I get most of it out. So a couple of other points here, we're gonna take a look at the water returns. You can see it's not as bright green, and uh, you should be able to note a brownish discoloration today, only three days after the second application of new algae. What that is, is a good diatom bloom has occurred in here, and uh, they're super oxygenating the water, eating up food sources that that planktonic algae would otherwise use to keep the water green and clearing it up. So we're gonna roll with that. I'll return on the uh, 27th. Here's that pipeline that I was trying to show you before. Uh, the green tint drastically reduced off of it, which is a good sign. I guess I'm really, really happy about uh, seeing this. I thought that we might supplement in a few weeks just to help speed things up but i guess this will be just a raw new algae use on the pond what i do put into the pond currently just because it's a new system under three months old is i add microblift night out two and what that is it just helps to keep nitrite under control because for a new pond system i do have a heavy fish load in here a lot of koi uh, several large ones they like to stay in the uh, streams in the heavier flow areas if you don't know koi fish are originally riverine fish and they like to swim into currents uh, actually the story of the koi that turns into a dragon uh, they will swim upstream, up rivers, conquer waterfalls for no other reason than just to do it. Not like salmon, they, they go upstream and battle waterfalls just for the uh, breeding aspect of their life. And koi fish pretty much do it for fun. So if you haven't looked into it, check out the dragon story. It's fascinating. Anyhow, I'm going to return on the 27th and we're gonna dose new algae. I'll show you my dosing technique in the pond. For now, have a great day, and uh, I will talk to you soon.